talking about? Yeah, I said she was here earlier. Yeah, she's bad. <laughs> Making noise. All right. Sure. Is there one we do anything else? Uh, Garrett, I'll let you start it off. If anyone else, raise your hand, and I'll follow you next question. Uh, Jalen, 12 assists, no turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, how do things feel out there for you? Is the game a little slower now in your, in your second year in college basketball? Um, I mean, everything, like you said, is slowing down for me. And to know I got, you know, one of the best shooters in the A-10 to, you know, knock down threes like he did tonight, it made everything so much better for me. So that's how that turned out. First of all, career high, 26 points. Um, what really motivated you um, tonight, especially with going 50% from behind the arc and all of your shots from the field also coming from there? What really drove you to be efficient behind there tonight? Um, honestly, I love shooting in Mullins. Um, Curry kept finding me, and I was just playing with confidence today, and that's what the team needed me to do, shoot a lot of threes today. Yeah, in the first half, you had that amazing alley you through there. How did it feel to finish off a really exciting play like that? It was, it was amazing, man. We work on that every day. So just to be able to you know complete that in the game, it made everything fantastic, man. Two big men uh, for the team now. Can you how big were their presences tonight? Can you repeat that, please? How big was the presence of those two guys kind of coming in and starting their career with the team um, <laughs> For me, uh, since we, but us both guard the ball high on the floor, um, they're very important to us because most guards tend to take off and go to the rim, and we got a lot of shot blockers this year, um, a lot of rim protection going on, so. That just allows us to get out and run also. Crystal, how does it, for both of you guys, how does it change with the big guys you have now compared to the big guys you had last year? It seems like the, you know, they're more, a little more mobile. They, they move around a little bit more. Does it change how you guys play defense? And how does it affect you like at the when you go from defense to offense? Um, we're more versatile on defense. We can switch. Um, we can hedge ball screens. We don't really get in drop coverage, but um, we got a lot of guys, big men that care, that are vocal. And when they call the right screens and stuff like that, and we get stops, we're able to run. So that leads to offense. How impressed are you with um, some of the freshmen who stepped up and did score tonight, as well as Tariq, who you guys played with last year, <laughs> getting eight points in eight minutes, um, being perfect from the field? How impressed are you with your teammates with that? We, we're proud of them guys, man, especially like a guy like Tariq. He's been in the gym working every day. Night in, night out, and to come out today and do what he did, it's amazing. And for Nate, Luca, who else got it? Amadou got in there. Um, who else? Um, you also had, I think it was, yeah, that was all. That was, yeah, them, yeah. them guys came in, they got, you know, they got they got points. So we're proud of them guys. They, they come in, practice every day, ready to learn, ready to, you know, go against us older guys. And, man, today we, we're proud of them, for sure. For either of you guys, um, what did you learn from the Providence game and what lessons do you carry into this tonight? Um, the lesson I learned is um, my team likes to compete, um, no matter the score, no matter how the game is going. Um, Providence, we didn't make too many shots, stuff like that, but that happens. We didn't put our head down, we kept playing, kept competing. So um, the will of the team, that's what I like. Chris, will you tied the program record today for threes made in a single game. Is that something you at all became aware of or wanted to chase in that final game? Um, nah, I didn't know the record, but I knew mine. So <laughs> once I knew mine, I was like, oh, yeah. But I'm just playing basketball, honestly. Rather than you guys, you guys scored 16 turnovers from New Hampshire, a lot of steals and breakouts. What aspect of the game plan do you think caused you guys to create so much havoc? Um, us two, ball pressure. Um, us being up in denial in the lanes, everybody helping out. And it just speeds the team up. Um, and when the team is sped up, they get to make fast decisions. And usually quick decisions are not smart decisions, so that leads us to the other end of the floor. A lot of the scoring, especially in the first half, was you guys just turning defense into offense. How would you feel, how would you define the defensive mentality that Coach Martin pushes on you guys this year? Um, don't back up. Um, <laughs> keep going, uh, be relentless. Even if you get beat, don't quit on the play. Um, trust your help. Trust your brother to come over and help you. And then once your brother step up, the other person is supposed to step up and help him too. And 
it was it was good today. Could have been better. Um, as long as the effort is there, I think we would be good. How was your guys' approach? Obviously, with the no key on, you've asked to play more point guard with Sewell and Jalen. You're going to have to do that as well. How yeah. has your approach changed uh, in the backcourt? Um, really, we just. You just he go point guard, I go shooting guard, shooting guard. We just switch it up every every time we get a chance to. Yeah, I feel like it's fun. Um, I feel like both of us got a lot of stuff to our game. Um, you see him, he got the ball on the string, a little flashy. Me, I'm just quick decision. I'm either shooting it or not. Um, I think we play well off each other, on the ball, or off the ball. It doesn't really matter. You guys complimented each other really well today. How do you feel like your relationship between each other has grown throughout the offseason coming into <laughs> If you know him, he <laughs> liked to be to himself. Uh, he's been coming around more. Um, I'm, he's in the gym with us now, one on one, shooting, whatever. Um, he's just learning how to be a leader, learning how to lead the team, learning how to communicate with the team, and getting guys that want to play with him. Um, and he's doing a great job. Uh, everybody has their days and stuff like that, but. Every day he come in there and compete um, de and deal with Coach Frank. So, you know, <laughs> that's yeah. a plus. Last one here. You guys shot over 50% from the field, also had um, 40 points come from your bench. What really helped you guys um, work together as a team and get like those stats up really high tonight just with wide scoring from all of you, especially with both of you? Everybody in the gym. Out? Yeah. That's all. That's all it is. Everybody in the gym after practice, later on that night, everybody's in the gym putting up shots, working on their game. So, the results that we got tonight is not. It's not a mind blowing thing. We we work every day to get those results. So, yeah. <laughs> strengthen the numbers. Facts. Thanks, everyone. Be good.